Good morning, everyone. This is Father Ed Malone, and today I want to share with you about a great saint who was the, probably the third bishop of the major city in the ancient world named Antioch. Okay? Um, Ignatius of Antioch. In 107, was captured by the Emperor Trajan, and Trajan said to him, Ignatius, you're 88 or nine years old. I don't want to have you tortured and killed for your Christianity. Have some good sense and give it up. Ignatius responded, Your Majesty, what would the young people think if a man who has led this Christian community and preached the faith for his entire life gave it up in order to live, what, a couple of more years? They would think that that was truly absurd. So do what you will. I profess Christ and am willing to die for him. Trajan was more than furious. And so what he did was he assigned this man to walk about 800 miles from Antioch in Syria to Rome in Italy to be martyred there so he could make a spectacle of it. Ignatius was cruelly treated along the way. And remember, he's 88, 89 years old. He was cruelly treated along the way. And he decided that he was going to write some letters to the churches, the communities that he went by on his trip. So he wrote to various communities. The first letter being his home community in Antioch and the last letter being to the church in Rome. They're very, very interesting letters. Now remember, it's the year 107. The apostles and all the original witnesses had just died. The scriptures, what we call the New Testament, is being compiled. And the church is pondering what is truly the word of God and what isn't. And the need to interpret the Word of God and who teaches it is a prominent issue. So if you ask Ignatius, how do I know what you say is the truth? Ignatius would say to you, well, I'm from Antioch. I'm the leader of the church in Antioch. And here's my story. I was taught by Apollos. And he gave me the truth. And how do I know that? Because the Apostle Peter taught him. You see how they passed that on from Peter to Apollos to Ignatius. And then they, uh, they taught as the leaders in community and interpreted the scriptures when it was necessary, when people were going astray. Now today, the Catholic Church says, that line has never been broken. And while we have no original witnesses with us, we believe it to be the truth. And we believe it to be the truth because it has always been passed on what you might call tradition from the original witnesses to now. We call that apostolic succession. So thank Ignatius. And if you get a chance, look him up and read one of his letters. They're extraordinarily interesting, talking about what the church looked like. He's the first one, by the way, to use the word Catholic. And um, you might want to find it very interesting what he says about what the Mass looked like in the year 107. Have a good day, everybody.